Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. Today we're diving into something really fun, which is going to be setting up a roaming AI in Unreal Engine 5. This is going to be perfect for a beginner, so if you're brand new to AI or Unreal Engine 5, feel free to follow along. This tutorial is perfect, and I made this just for you. This project will be available for all my Patreon members, so feel free to check it out after the video. So I've started up my project using the third person template. So the first thing we need is to make sure our AI knows where it can move in the world. And in order to do this, we need to set up a navigation mesh or nav mesh for short. So I'll click on this icon with this plus sign in front of it, which helps me quickly add actors to our project. So I'm going to search for a nav mesh bounds volume and just drag it into my map like so. And now you'll see that this cube, when I hit P, it's going to tell me where my AI actors can roam around. And I just want to expand this to cover the entire map. And I also want them to be able to go upstairs, like for example, up here. So I'm just going to increase the height simply by clicking R on my keyboard while this is selected. And I can expand these in all sorts of directions by just clicking and dragging these. You can also go to your details and just set the scale of it to something like 15 by 15 by 15. And you'll see this perfect cube. But I think I'll just uh, actually scale this a little longer just to make sure everything is covered like so. And then I'll hit control save and I can hit P on my keyboard to exit out of that. And what I'm going to do next is actually just create a simple AI controller. And in Unreal Engine, if you do start getting into projects, I really recommend organization. So I'm just going to right click and create a new folder and just call this AI. And then I'll just click into this folder and I'm going to right click and select a blueprint class. And for the blueprint class, I'm going to look for something called an AI controller. So when I begin typing an AI controller, I'll see AI controller pop up and I'll hit select. And I'll just call this something like BP underscore AI creature controller. And I'll double click to open this up. And now you can see that in this controller, we have some actions component, a path following component, and so on. And I'll be adjusting the event graph, which you can hit on the tab up here and adding some modifications so that we can basically use this controller to control our AI. This controller, this AI controller is basically the brains of our AI character. So let's go ahead and create a character that we can give this brain to. So I'll head back to my third person map and go over to third person. And then I'll select blueprint and you'll see this BP third person character. I'm just going to right click on this and duplicate this and I'll call this something like BP underscore AI. And then I will double click to open this up. And with this AI open, I'm going to select BP AI at the very top. And in my details on the right side, I'm going to look for something called an AI controller class. And it's defaulted to a plain AI controller, but I'm actually going to change this to the BP AI creature controller that we created before. And now if I were to go to my third person map and simply drag this in over here, um, he's not going to do anything just yet because we actually haven't told his brain what to do. So let's go ahead and pretty much edit that AI controller for his brain. So what I want to do is basically I'm just going to have him run around in random places on the map. So on begin play, I'm going to call a custom function, which is going to be called start roaming, but let's go ahead and create that custom function first. So I'm going to right click and look for a custom event. And this custom event will be called start roaming. And basically when it starts roaming, what we want to do is we just want to get a random location and the origin is actually going to be from the actor of the controlled pawn. So I'm going to right click over here and actually get the controlled pawn. And this controlled pawn will be the actual AI itself. But you're going to see the return value is a pawn object reference and not the actual origin. So I want to kind of get the location so that we can determine where on the X, Y, and Z axis it is. So from the return, I'm going to actually just look for get location. And down here, you're going to see two options, get nav agent location or get actor location. I'll select get actor location and you'll see the return value is a vector, which is going to be what we need to connect to our origin. And for the radius, I can either hard code this and set this to a value, or I can just create a variable of a type float and I'll just call this roam radius. And I'll select the value to be a float so that it can connect here just fine. And when I hit compile and have this selected, I can set a roam radius and I'll do something like 1000. I'll be pretty generous where how far it can travel. And I'll just connect this by dragging and dropping over here, or you can drag this over to the open and get roam radius and connect it like so. And that's all I need for this section. And now we just want to actually tell the actor to move to that location. So I'll drag this out from get random location and I'm going to look for a move to location or actor. And the random location will be our goal location. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to tell our AI to just move to that location. And now on move finish, I'm actually going to call this function to start roaming again because I'm going to just have it roam around and run around every time it finishes. And now basically we want to initiate this whenever we start our game. 
So I'm just going to drag out the event begin play and look for the start roaming function or the start roaming event as well. So I'll hit compile and save. And now basically what this is telling us to do is when we begin play, we're going to call this custom event called start roaming. And it's going to do all of this. And when we're done, when we finish moving to that location that we set on the go location, it's going to start roaming again and start from here. So it's going to get a random location, which is going to be a radius of 1000. And if we go back to our third person map and hit P, you're going to see that this is pretty much going to be where it can roam in a 1000 radius. And when I drag my AI over here like so, and then I hit play, you're going to see that the AI starts running around. I think I accidentally dragged two in, but they'll both be running in different locations around the map in a 1000 radius. And after it gets to that location, it's going to proceed to just go to a new location as long as it can reach it. And the AI controller, which is its brain, will already know that these walls are in the way, so it can actually go to that location and it will just stay within the boundaries pretty much. And yeah, you can see him come upstairs properly and just like that. And then he goes back downstairs and he knows exactly where to go, how to get around the walls and so on. And that's a very early beginner tutorial on AIs and we'll be covering that more in this channel. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.